Okay, so we are back with this GE top load washer. Um, let's get the complete model number. To, the model number is a GTW500ASNWS. Uh, this washer here is a 4.6 cubic foot washer. Um, it does have the deep fill, it has a speed wash, deep rinse. It also does the second rinse. Sorry, let me grab this phone. Um, this is have the. It does have. It does not have the agitator, but it does have the impellers. It right there. So this doesn't have that. So let me turn off the AC right behind me so we can. So when we run this machine, it's going to be a little bit. Um, we can hear it run. So let's take a look at the main control panel here. I go to soil level. We have different soil level settings. This is the knob on the far left. You have extra light light, normal, heavy, and extra heavy. Uh, the temperature settings, all the rinses are cold. And you have tap cold, cold, cool, colors, warm, and hot. So you got pretty nice. You know, you have one, two, three, four, five soil settings. One, two, three, four, five, six temperature settings. Um, really nice selection, sorry, really nice selection of uh, cycles you have colors so starting at the 12 o'clock position you have colors dark colors casual delicates cold wash active wear speed wash and keep on going uh, clockwise drain and spin jeans deep clean bulky uh, bulky items towels sheets whites and back up to colors at 12 o'clock position uh, so options um, you can turn off the options if you want. So we'll probably our first test will be options off. Uh, then you can do auto soak, second rinse, extra spin, second uh, rinse with extra spin, and a deep rinse. Uh, select when adding fabric softener. So we do have a deep rinse option right here, and then the knob uh, stain pre-treat, and it does have different stain selections. So you can turn that off. Probably leave that off and then you have like tomato dirt grass or wine so this one I haven't really seen this too often uh, this type of wash with all these features you do have a deep fill um, button as well um, so let's go ahead and start a load we're just gonna let the machine run without uh, anything in it so we can see what it does on the basic setting setting so let's turn this to extra light soil um, temperature uh, just because uh, we want it to fill a little bit faster we just go ahead and set it to warm and uh, colors normal will be the cycle that's going to be your normal cycle no options like no rinse extra rinse or extra spin or anything like that and no uh, stain pre-treat um, if we hit deep fill it doesn't do anything at this point but let's hit start Oh, that was off, wasn't it? Can't start again. Oh. What are we doing? And I'll make sure that the water is turned on. the first run. Okay. And it says pause. See if uh, maybe get some help here. Missed. All right, so 
let's try this again. The water is turned on. I hear I don't hear the valves uh, doing anything. Let me uh, do something with the lids strike. Maybe something's going on there. Maybe they put it backwards or something. I think that was the issue of the lid lock giving us a little trouble. Sure sounds like the, the solenoids are running, trying to put water in, but the water is turned on. Guys, we have no water right now, so something's going on. <laughs> I do apologize. Let me go see what's going on. This is a big fail. There's none of the machines. Let me see. Yeah, let me, let me go to the restroom up here and check the water. turned off to the building uh, I think they're doing construction outside so uh, let me uh, I'm gonna have to call I'm gonna have to cancel this I do apologize so let's just kind of take a look at the machine um, and see what kind of error code it gives us while it's trying to figure this out Thank you. 
Okay, so we did get an error code, I think. Yeah. So it says sensing, but it, I, I don't know what it's doing. But anyway, so I, I did uh, look down the street. Uh, they have the, the road blocked off, and I think a pipe busted, so they, the water is turned off for a little bit. So hopefully we'll get this uh, thing going on tomorrow, finish it up. But that's just the way it is, guys. And over there, I got my Speed Queen over there. It's flashing. It says wash, rinse. Those two lights are flashing over there, indicating that it's, something's wrong with the water. So, um, anyway, a little bit disappointed. Let's take a look at this. All right. So it does have strain, uh, so not strain, stain pre-treat, so easily remove four common stains uh, with pre-programmed settings that do the work for you. Okay, and then we have to explore that one day. Uh, deep clean cycle. Um, so it's, it says 67 percent more cleaning power than most common commonly used cycle. Colors, normal cycle, whatever. Okay, deep fill. Enjoy total control and customization of your water levels with the touch of a button that lets you add just a little extra water or fill the tub. So that that'd be a good one to find out because a lot of these GE top load washers they fill about a little slightly less than three quarters. So we'll see if we can actually fill the tub like it says here. Speed wash. Save time when you're in a hurry with a quick wash for lightly soiled items. So we, you know, you can uh, go. It goes through all the steps. I don't know how well it works. Uh, deep rinse. Um, yeah. So you know, deep rinse. Second rinse. Ensure removal detergent. Uh, we, we'll have to check the second rinse and see if they're going to be uh, a deep fill or some kind of a, a spray rinse. Uh, and it talks about the infuser, that's that uh, impeller thing. Um, Energy Star, made in America. So this appliance is made in America and contains 70 to 90 percent U.S. content. So there's a few things made out of state, out of the country, but uh, not not every every portion of it. Soil levels take uh, full control of your wash cycle with five soil levels to choose from wash cycles, choose from 13 wash cycles, wash, uh, water temperature, and um, what else? Dimensions, basic. Okay, so 4.6 cubic foot. It is a pretty highly featured machine, I mean, um, so one more time just kind of killing time right now. So the soil level, this is a button on the far left. And it it is, I would say, visually impaired friendly because the, the knob does have a little rough section here. So you can kind of, you, you can feel it what direction it's pointing. So if you turn it to the 10 o'clock position, extra light, and then go one click clockwise, it goes light, straight up is normal, one more click to the right is heavy, and then around the two o'clock position, it's pointing to the extra heavy soil. So that would be your your, your things that are, you would really want to scrub. Um, the second knob is your temperatures. Um, so starting around let's say nine, ten, around eleven o'clock position, uh, or you know ten, it says tap cold. That's going to be just cold water coming from the cold faucet. Uh, it doesn't mix in the hot at all. Cold will be the same thing, but it's going to add in a little bit of hot water just to get it up to a certain point. Uh, detergent doesn't uh, break down unless it's at the right temperature. So uh, it's going to, it'd be a good, like up north where the, the temperatures are really cold. 
uh, your tap water may be below the, 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 the what they recommend. So if you hit cold here, it's going to at least bring it up to a temperature that, where it can break down your detergent. And it's going to be a little bit warmer, I guess. The, the 3 o'clock position says colors. Warm at the at uh, 4 o'clock position around the 5 o'clock or so, is, it says hot. So we don't know if that's a true hot or if it's going to mix in some cold water. And the cycle selection is really nice, you know, and these knobs, all the knobs up on the machine do have a little, uh, you can fill it to where, where it's pointing. Um, does do a really good job letting you know where you are. Um, you, you might want to start discussing what cycles you want to see, because it, like, it looks like this machine is going to be back here for a long period, because we have so many things to do. So if you're coming into my store and you're looking for a washer, um, if I didn't have any salespeople at all and you were just looking and glancing, you're, you're going to be more interested in this washer than that one because that one only has four cycles. You're going to say, well that can't do anything. But yet it costs two to three times more, right? That is a Speed Queen that's built like a tank. Uh, a whole different category of washer. But for somebody who's just looking for a new washer to buy, uh, they're going to look at this one and they're going to say, well, this one can do it all. And it might. I mean, you can fine tune. The point of doing this is that if you do all your laundry at your house, and you're not taking clothes to the cleaners and places like that, well, you're going to want something that can handle you know, delicates and casuals and active wear and stuff like that. Um, you know, because you're not going to take those to the cleaners, you're going to do them, you're going to do all your laundry here. So, options, you know, you do have some really nice options like uh, auto soak second rinse and we need to find out that second rinse is two spray rinses or a combination of a spray and a deep rinse you can hit extra spin this, these things spin enough anyway I don't think you would ever have to do that uh, but if you wanted to you can second rinse extra spin that's gonna be I mean I bet you if you select that in heavy duty and you, and you select your soil extra heavy soil um, you're going to probably be washing for nearly two hours. I would like to do a video on that to see how long that cycle is going to take. Um, but I bet you're going to be around there. And that machine over here, you'll never hit two hours, maybe one hour max on this Bee Queen. It's going to crank out more laundry than this one. Um, deep rinse, select when adding fabric softener. So what that means is um, it's going to it's going to fill up higher when it goes through the rinse. So instead of doing a spray rinse, it's going to do a deep rinse. My best guess. And these over here, stain pre-treat. So are you supposed to have the lid open and do certain things to the uh, fabric while you're before you throw them in the washer or what? So a lot of times. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'll even go through it. GE aired out. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, and the Speed Queen started to air out also. So take a look over there. Yeah, it's still flashing. Right there. See it? Come on, cold water right there. Um. So, I think that's about it. Let's t take a look at the inside one more time. Whoops. Okay. Stainless steel tub. They call this the infuser, right? Is that what they're saying? Efficient infuser. So Jerry needs to update his uh, nomenclature on his impeller stuff and make a new video. 
Um, nothing real special here. It is deep. I would say if I was a, a little old lady, I might have trouble reaching down here, but maybe not. I have short arms, so it's not too bad to get into. I've seen a lot worse. Um, bleach right over here. Get your bleach. Fabric softener. Okay, so where's your fabric softener dispenser? So I guess I hate reading manuals. I just don't like it. I know it's my job to know when the customer asks me, hey, how do you put fabric softener in here? Do I have to, I assume you're going to have to pour it in at the right time. That means you have to, I don't know if you have to stand by your washer. And then when you get in, and then, uh oh, I went to, I, I didn't get here in time and it's going to go, and, and you might, you may miss it, right? So, I don't know, what does Jerry say? He probably knows. Nine text messages. Okay, they rely on a downy ball, I believe. Well, they should give me a downy ball. You know, they should put one, put them in here. Yeah. So they, maybe they should ship with downy balls, or get together with a company that will throw them in there for free. You know. This is so good, man. Ozarka. I don't know if, if you have this where you're from, but um, this is what we drink in here in Texas as far as water. Spring. This is spring water. Filtered water I don't drink. Spring water has more nutrients and it's better for you. Anyway, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, thank you, Jerry, for hanging in there. And guys, if you're you know sitting here listening to me jab, I uh, appreciate it. Okay, so that's it until they fix the water. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try this real quick. So I'm going to get to my phone and I'm going to go live on my phone, but I'm going to turn this off and see if it picks up the feed from my phone. That'd be cool if it does. Okay. All right, guys, y'all take care. We'll see you next time.